Howdy, this is Pell Ryder, and I'm back with uh, another episode in my series on Draconic Evolution, and <laughs> half my face disappears. I guess, oh, it's just the center one. Uh, if I turn just right and hit shift. <laughs> All right, well, today I am going to make the... Energy storage multi multi system multi block. Um, yeah, I mentioned in my last episode that I need to make this mob spawner work better. Um, I got the mob essence working great now. I w with the uh, new um, the uh, the mob grinders from this mod. And now I need to get my energy flowing better. Um, when I turn this on, right now I have it on s wither skeletons. Um, let me turn it on for a second. And turn that light off. When I turn it on, okay, this goes up pretty quick. But you see that energy level went down way, way fast. Um, and it's not coming in fast enough so this is really going slow and also well right now too I also have the um, the inner energy uh, infuser down here running with my energetic infuser from um, from thermal expansion running at the same time and these are really sucking up the energy too so it's making the spawner spawn really really slow Oh, I can't even kill him with this. I need to kill him with the my other sword. Um, so I can get heads. <laughs> this ender sword is the best thing for getting uh, mob heads. Of any kind. Let me turn that back off. And turn that on. Alright, so. To get this to work better. I need a better energy system. And... Since um since this mod doesn't and it's nighttime every single time <laughs> every time I walk want to walk outside it's nighttime and I don't want to deal with mobs while I'm trying to build something so yeah this mod doesn't have any kind of of generator or or any any way to make the energy itself but it does have the best storage system that I've seen. So I'm going to make the storage system and temporarily just took it up to a bunch of of, of magmatic dynamos and go AFK a lot so that I can just let it let it run and run and run and run. Um, I am in the next, during this next week, I'm going to start building on something that, that gives me a better better supply of energy um, but for now I'm gonna build this right here I got it set up oh I forgot a couple of the ingredients let me go back inside um, the main oh, all, all the ingredients uh, I have some of them here Ooh, my sword <laughs> need to get that in the right spot just in case I need it okay so You need one energy core, uh, four particle generators, redstone blocks, uh, draconium blocks, and energy pylons. Um, the draconium blocks and the redstone blocks depend on what tier you're going. Uh, I'm going to go to one of the medium tier ones. Uh, I need more stored energy than 45,000 or 45 million I mean um, just from just from working with the uh, draconic uh, stuff I, I'm gonna need more than that so uh, 273 million would probably be plenty but I, I checked how many block draconium blocks I had 
I figured out 26 is all right. This gives me 1.64 billion. So I think I'm just going to build this one. Um, these are a little bit outrageous and ridiculous. Uh, maybe in the future I'll think <laughs> not and, 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 and want to build one of these other ones. So I'm building the area big enough so that I can go all the way up if I need to. But for now, I'm just building this um, tier two, which is, is the third tier. So the, my first step, I already set this up over here to give me two pylons. This is the recipe. That's the ingredients. Got my two pylons. And in here, I have my energy core. And I only have two particle generators. I noticed I, I got that wrong a minute ago. Um, I will be right back. I need to make two more. I don't want to bore you with all the details on that. All right, I'm back. And, oh, lag spike again. Dang. I'm getting more and more lag lately. I think I'm building too much. <laughs> so, first things first. Um, you have to pretty much put it in this configuration that it shows in the picture, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think there's, it, you know, there's some variations that you can do, um, but I'm going to do it pretty much like it shows it here by putting the, you put the core in the middle and the, uh, particle generators one to ten blocks out so I'm going exactly ten blocks for the for the just in case I want to uh, expand later um, then you also put let me go to the very last one with these pylons I think it's the last one here we go yeah well whatever um, you have to put these either above or below and you can put them almost anywhere in that same 10 block area, I guess. Um, but I just, I'm even, on, even, on, evening them out, putting one down there and one on the opposite side down there. And so, okay, let me get rid of this. That was just a placeholder. Um, energy core in the middle. And the particle generators one on each side and that's pretty much all you really need to do to get the, the lower lowest tier um, let's do that and then you right click on one of the particle generators or maybe it's the core I'll find out in a minute and it'll start right up but I'm going to make a higher tier one, so i got to put some uh, draconium blocks in the middle. And then the pylons are actually for the input and the output. But it'll start up without the pylons. But I'm going to put the pylons in real quick anyway. I want to put them down a little bit because it's got a cool particle effect um, when you're done. And I want to put them in a spot where you can see the particle effect really good. So I'm going to have my input on this side because I'm planning on building my um, energy system down here, whatever I'm going to do. I'll have, have that on this side, and I'm going to have my output on that side because actually the uh, spawner, the uh, grinders are right underneath me. So most of what I'm going to be using it for is going to be right underneath me. Get all this crap. I don't know why I got plenty of dirt, but I hate to waste it. So um, now the last step is, or there's actually two more steps. I'm going to wait for on the glass until the last step, though. Okay, so off of this energy core, you go three by three on top and bottom and then the middle you know it's three by three but with the cores as, as the middle one and that's it 
And now I'm going to wait till it starts up to place the glass. All right. Right click. There it goes. It's actually running right now. It's not producing any energy or not producing. I mean, it's not storing ener any energy yet, but it shows right there that 0, 0, 0, 0.0 out of 1.64 billion. So yeah, once it starts getting energy, it will, that, that'll start going up. Um, because these are lower than that, you have to put the glass on top. If they were higher, you put the glass on the bottom. Uh, that means it's showing to see the particle shooting towards it. That means that it's um, outputting it to that. I'm going to put the other one there. And that one's inputting it to there. If you want to switch that, I think you just shift right click. Now it should go back the opposite way. Wait. I'll find out once I get it running. Right now it's not running. I will be back in a few minutes. I am going to make a couple of a couple items to so that I can actually start transferring some in, some energy. Um, I'll be back in a minute. All right, I'm back and I set this up here. I took I had six um, magmatic dynamos down uh, under underneath the the, uh, the auto spawner and I had two more in my tree um, for my equipment you know all my um, my machines and I made one more so I got nine all together and I put them underneath this as you can tell now see the blue particles that means it's actually transferring and I and I am I was right about the shift right clicking. Um, see now it, it's inserting or you know it's it's uh, inputting, and now it's outputting. Um, I I was clicking on the pylon itself when I guess I was supposed to click on that um, the blue blue sphere thing. Okay, so now it's putting energy into the ear very slowly but it's whoa dang it's going oh well no that's 1.4 million okay it holds 1.6 billion and that's actually pretty fast car you got 1.4 million i just hooked it up um it's not going to be as fast as i need it i'm gonna have to hook up a better energy system real soon to get it going as fast as i need it but for now this will do um now I need to hook up the output. I'm using these uh, dimensional transceivers from Ender I.O. I already hooked them up on the inside. I just need to put one right here and oh, configure it. Um, energy, there we go. And it's going to send. Bam! Uh, I didn't mean to type anything in there. Okay. Send. Okay. Now it's, it's got purple in there. That means it's actually receiving energy, which is going to pull it out of here. So this is just, this went way down. Um, until it stops actually using energy, um, this won't, this this will keep going down. Um, this is just a storage unit. So as long as energy is being used, Faster than it's being made, um, that storage system ain't gonna hold anything. But yeah, I got. Oh. Yep, this when I when I hooked this up, it didn't have the purple in it. So now that's working. Um, it should have probably charged up all my other systems. I have. Ooh. I don't know what's going on with this thing. Oh, oh, it's pulling out of here. Okay, that one's charged. 
that one's charged. That's this red line over here. Um, that's charged. That's charged. That's charged. Looks like everything's charged. If everything here is charged, um, except for this, and I don't know why, that's, um, everything is, I have this actually going into that and then out of to the rest of the stuff. And this is an pretty much the same thing as, as that is up there, except for this holds 25 million RF. Um, but it should be storing something. I don't know why. I noticed earlier it wasn't doing that either, so I'm going to have to figure out the reason why this isn't holding anything. But I'll do that later. Okay, so main thing is I want to make sure that this is working. Yeah. Okay, that's working. It's got power to it, and there's no way to really find out except for turning this thing on. I don't have anything else drawing energy off of it right now. Um, I'm going to put the valves back in it. Now I had to make some stuff to, to get this working. This, this dimensional transceiver is actually needed Enderman souls. So I had to get four Enderman out of there. Um, and the the mob souls uh, in Ender IO are a lot different than the Draconic Evolution. Um, okay, so I got this set up. Looks like it's fully charged. Let me turn it on. Okay, after the idle, the work should go. Yeah, see how fast that's going now? Um, and see, the problem that I was having before is as fast as this thing was going up, this energy was yeah. going down. Now the energy is staying completely up, so I should get a cow every what, five seconds or so. And it should be the same thing with, with any other mobs I put in here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. About six and a half seconds per cow. And the energy level's not going down. And that was my main thing. And this is going up. And whoop. My storage. My, my storage is all the way to the bottom now. My storage is pretty full right now um, of the, the mob essence. Um, probably goes down pretty... Yeah, it looks like it's going down pretty quick. But I'm sh now that I have um, everything set up here, I don't think it's going to go down quicker than, than I'm going to actually be able to make it now. So that's really good. And... I guess that's all for this episode. Um, hope you liked it. Uh, hit a like, leave a comment, uh, hit subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Adios.